Tennis coach boasts an impressive career spanning 28 years at Bethany College. Coach Ted Kessinger. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 College Football Hall of Fame inductees. You know, standing in this end zone, standing on this field, being retired, but coming out here and standing here, it's like game time. You know, when I think of game time, I think about you coming out of that locker room area. Sometimes we go through smoke and sometimes we had fireworks taken off. I remember one time we had about 25 motorcycles surrounding the track and just revving that up. We came out with a lot of fire and a lot of enthusiasm. And that really what makes a difference. And this is what we're all about today. We got some good things to share with you. We got some great things to share with you. But Bethany's not rolling over. They're progressive. Here's what we're doing. I'm just speaking athletically. One, you see a new field. This is now about six months old. It hasn't even had a full Bethany football season on it yet. Around this track, brand new track. And a big time thank you goes to the Lindsborg School System. We're working so well, closely together. If you walk in the Han Gymnasium, you're gonna see a new flooring in there. It really looks sharp, it really stands out. Things are, we're making progress along that line. Matter of fact, some of you lived in Warner Hall. And Warner Hall, they're gonna duck Warner Hall and redevelop that, that's another lift. That's seeing Bethany taking off in the right progress. You know, I said we got some good things happening. Those are just four basic good things. We also have a great thing on the schedule that we're really excited about. Thanks to President Mock and our board of directors, they have given us the okay to look at a new stadium. And my friends and players, we need a new stadium. I remember back in the 90s when we had one of the best stadiums in the conference. It really made a difference to us. And it helps us in recruiting and enrollment and retention. We need that new stadium. Right now, some of our coaches say we have the worst facilities on, in the conference. That can't be the case. That's not going to help us in regards to being successful. But things are going well. We're looking into that. We already got the architectural designs. We already got a brochure that's hopefully at the printer today in which we can just get the word out to you and tell you a little bit about that. That's a great thing that's happening here on our campus, in our athletic programs. You know, <clears throat> but it's gonna take a challenge, big time challenge. You know, standing here in this end zone, I remember, I think it was around 1990 or 91, we were playing Friends University. Friends University was at the north end of the field going in to score with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. And we fumbled the ball. And we went out there with that fire enthusiasm just like we came out in the field and we drove 99 and two thirds yards and scored. That was a challenge. We all have challenge. We talked about tough times and getting up when things are tough. Getting knocked down, but getting up. Keep battling back. That was a definite indication. I remember the first game that I coached at Bethany, the first time I was a head football coach, and I brought Coach Sambo with me as my offensive coordinator. The year before, I believe they won one game and lost nine, plus they had a lot of problems on their team. Well, that first game, of course, we're playing Ottawa University, and of course it had to be at home, and we had a good turnout. At the halftime of that game, we were behind 17 to zip. We went in that locker room. Could you imagine what they were thinking about in that stadium? Here we go again, another Bethany team just struggling. We talked to our players. We made some adjustments. We took on that challenge. And we came out in this field, and we scored 34 points the second half. The next week, we go down and play the team that's picked to win the conference. We win that game. Challenges. 
We all face challenges. We all walk through that valley sometimes. We all get to that mountaintop, that peak experience. We talked a lot about this. But this challenge with the stadium, we're gonna need your help. We got four requests, four requests that you can help us with. One, we need your prayers. We're not gonna get this done without your prayers. I mean, this stadium is an honor. There's gonna be a name on that stadium that's gonna say family right in the middle. That's the most important part of naming this stadium because that represents all the players, all the managers, all the trainers, the cheerleaders, the yell leaders, your, the blue dozen playing as you come out in that field. It represents all of those individuals, especially those parents up there that supported us. So that's a challenge we have to overcome. But I'll tell you, that second challenge is so significant. And that second challenge deals with the enthusiasm. You've got to pass the word around. Tell your friends, tell your family members, tell your coaches, you know, tell them about this program that we have, the stadium we're developed. We're going to need their help. The third third factor, the third major plus, is in our alumni advancement office. That's the third thing. You know, a fourth point, and that's a big point, and that has to do with the finances. So there's no question we're going to need your help. The good news, the great news is our president already got for us a big time gift. So we're off and running with that. That is so important, but we're going to need your help. We're going to need for you to pass the word out to our advancement office to let us know some people. And we're going to need for you to dig deep. I guess, you know how we used to talk about it, we've got to give our best shot. The things are going well at Bethany. We are making some progress. But let me tell you one thing that my players, I can't remember if this was in the 90s or the late 80s, but they came up with a statement. They said this, good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is your better and your better is your best. Well, I need to wrap this up, but I need to tell you those players that played for me from 1976 to 2003, I talked to the spirit of Newt Rockney and his two nurses. They're behind this program. Take care. Take care of your loved one. God bless. Thank you. Go, 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 go.